Have you ever been on the receiving end of a dynamic, of having something or maybe some experience not produce what you thought it promised? Now, more than likely, that's an ordeal that, that many of us have encountered. Thinking that something, some experience, or even maybe someone would meet our expectations in a way that would bring some level of satisfaction, fulfillment, or peace. Well, the book of Ecclesiastes, most commonly accepted written by King Solomon, shares about the various things in life that he pursued to find meaning and, and purpose, and how none of them produced what he thought they promised. And think about this with me. A man who had this kind of wealth and power and influence that he had, he had the ability to pursue anything he wanted at whatever level he wanted, but each endeavor produces the same result. It's empty. Or, or as you'll read, the, the book often says, vanity of vanities. And you might wonder what that means. It's the idea that something, well, it, it appears and then disappears quickly, leaving nothing behind. One person described it like this. It's, it's whatever is left after you pop a soap bubble. Now, that's nothing except maybe just a, a mess. Well, and here in chapter two, Solomon shares that he gave himself to pleasure, alcohol, architecture, property, luxury, and that he even focused his heart and mind and life on different philosophies of life, like materialism, even morality, living foolishly and living wisely. And he says it's all, it's all soap bubbles, it's nothing. But in verse 24 and 25, he, he shares a pearl of true wisdom. He says, so I decided there's nothing better than to enjoy food and drink and to find satisfaction in work. Then I realized that these pleasures are from the hand of God. For who can eat or enjoy anything apart from him? See, Solomon isn't saying, well, it's all meaningless, so just eat and drink and enjoy life. He's not saying that at all. He's saying, thank God for what you do have and enjoy it to the glory of God. See, life's greatest fulfillments aren't found in pursuing things you don't have, but resting in and enjoying the good gifts that God has already placed in your life. So today, let me ask you, what has God placed in your life right now that you can thank God for and enjoy to his glory?